Diversion Audio. Last time on the Royals of Malibu, there's this guy who likes me, but I like someone else. Maybe you should just trust your gut. I got you these. Another gift. Are you going to the Y2K party this weekend? David, stop. You need to back the fuck off. <laughs> Help me! Oh, you fucking bitch! You kicked me in the balls! If you ever come near her again, that's gonna be your fucking head. Do you think you could sleep in here tonight? I just feel weird being alone. What are you doing? I want you right now. Just when I think Reed is mine, he's gone. One note we should mention. This episode contains adult language and subject matter that may not be appropriate for younger audiences. Please take care in listening. How much further is it? Dude, we're not even on the trail yet. <sighs> is this why everyone in this stupid town is so toned? <laughs> Relax, babe. You're gonna love this trail. <sighs> I need a distraction. Hey, how was your uh, weekend up in Berkeley with Tam? Good. Too short. But Tam is doing so well. She's like the star student in all her classes. Her professors love her. And she already has a cool group of friends to go to shows and parties with every weekend. That's amazing. I can't wait for college, for real. So, you feel like the long distance thing is working? Mm -hmm. We FaceTime every night before bed. No weird jealousy issues. Neither of us are flaking on each other. Everything is just so easy with her. I'm so jealous. Perks of dating women. So, how was the Y2K party last night? You don't seem hungover, at least. For some reason, I find myself lying. It was fine. No major drama. I wore a cute, juicy tracksuit, which we should totally bring those back, by the way. No, we should not. Oh, I hate that I missed it. Yeah, it definitely would have been way better if you had been there. So, you didn't hear anything about last night? Nothing from the Cove rumor mill? Nope. Not even from the Cheese McQueen. Why? Did something happen? Uh, not that I know of. Oh, I'm so glad everyone at the Cove is back to partying like normal kids. Ugh, I can't take another mindfulness phase from them again. There was a semester where everyone was doing group sound baths on the weekend. Like, sober. Huh. Everyone guzzling celery juice instead of jungle juice sounds way more appealing to me. Oh, it wasn't better for me. I was a Sagittarius in crisis, dying for gossip that didn't involve snail slime and someone's skincare routine. <sighs> You're crazy. That is such a tourist thing to say. No one got canceled for like three months. It was so boring. <laughs> Hang on. Here we go. Wow, there are waterfalls in Malibu? Yeah, girl. We gotta take a pic for the grid. Stand over there. Ooh, slay, slay! Oh, I'll Photoshop all those tourists out, don't worry. Okay, okay, get in here. We need a good BFF photo. The following week at school, I hear absolutely nothing about David Albrecht being a predator and a creep. It's so weird, like it never happened. But when Reed does try to talk to me about it, I even find myself shutting the conversation down. Reed, his dad's a judge. No one other than me has anything bad to say about him. I don't stand a chance against him. It's totally fucking unfair. <laughs> Don't be scared of him. You have the royals on your side. You have no idea what this is like, so don't tell me how to feel. 
And can you keep your voice down, please? Ella, I need to talk to you. Oh, Savannah, please just leave me alone. You win, okay? Can we call a truce? Forget all that. This isn't about winning. But not here. Are you okay? I'm fine. I know you don't like me. That's fine. I don't really like you either, but... I, I just wanted to let you know that whatever happened with David, I believe you. Because he probably did to you exactly what he did to me. That's... Holy shit, Savannah. I... I had no idea. Yeah, he... He definitely tried, but he didn't get far. But you... Did you tell anyone? I tried, but nobody saw it. So it was my word against his, and I'm a bitch, and he's a golden boy. And I'm a whore. Exactly. I mean, I don't think that. You literally called me a whore in front of the whole school. Look, we don't have to get into all that, but... I am sorry for everything, especially the scene at the pool. Anyway, I was trying to warn you about David, but I'm not very good at, like, being friends with girls. <laughs> yeah, I get that. But, um, thank you for trying to warn me about him. I wish I would have listened to you. So the royals got you out before anything happened? Yeah, uh, I kicked him in the balls when he wanted back off, and Reed and Easton took care of the rest. Easton's a real one. <laughs> well, anyway, if you ever need to talk to someone who understands, I'm here. Or whatever. Wow, I finally found a reason to get along with Savannah Gonzalez. <sighs> So, what do we do now? Look out for the next girl, I guess. Women supporting women, or whatever my cousin says. And hope that David gets caught trying to bribe an Ivy for admission. Or even better, we could frame him. <laughs> yeah, um, let's give it a minute before we start doing crimes together. <sighs> I'll see you in class, Savannah. I can go back to taking the bus tomorrow. I don't mind driving you. Reed, you've barely talked to me all week. Are you okay? But you haven't talked to me either. Well, I wish you hadn't left my bed in the middle of the night. I mean, you basically ghosted me. <sighs> I don't want to lead you on, Ella. I leave for college in the fall. You don't even know what school you're going to yet. What if you go to USC or UCLA? Do you actually think I want to stick around here? I don't know. But let's be real. This isn't about college for you. Hooking up was a mistake. Don't push me away. I'm serious. We both have a lot going on. You don't need the extra complications. Reed, we finally got to a good place. Don't just shut this down. Don't... Don't shut me down. We need some space. You have to trust me on this. It'll be better this way. You're right. I, I shouldn't be driving you to work. And don't go to the Worthington party this weekend. Don't tell me what to do. I'm just looking out for you. I don't need to be protected. But don't worry. I'm not exactly in a partying mood. Good. Good. Just stay in. Hang out with Valerie. Don't bother picking me up. I'll get home by myself. What the hell? Hey, be careful. Don't cut yourself. Oh, Lucy, what happened? 
I don't know, some kids in BMWs drove by and threw bricks through the windows. What? When? Around 2 a.m., according to the security cameras. The police are on their way over to take a statement. Are you okay? <sighs> I guess. I gotta board up these windows and see whether we can even open today. Not that we can really afford to be closed. <laughs> what a mess. I'm so sorry, Lucy. It's not your fault. <sighs> Unless it is. Unless the kids in BMWs were David Albrecht and his friends trying to intimidate me. I, I gotta be honest, I, I don't understand. I mean, why are these spoiled rich kids attacking a small business? They're bored, looking at their trust fund balance. I mean, I, why? Can you explain this to me? You go to school with them. Why would they attack us? What do we ever do to them? Nothing. Yet. I finally decide to tell Valerie what happened to me at the Y2K party. So, yeah. Long story short, David's whole nice guy act is total BS. He's a snake. Holy shit! Why didn't you tell me? You just seemed so happy after seeing Tam. I didn't want to ruin it. What? I want to be there for you on bad days too, girl. No matter what. Fuck off! The light just turned! Ella, you can tell me anything, anytime. I know. So how are you feeling now? At first, I just... <laughs> felt numb. And I I wanted to hide. Oh, now I'm fucking angry. Mm -hmm. Me too. <sighs> I want to teach him a lesson. Mm, sounds dangerous. I'm in. We're here. Are you sure you're ready for this? If David is going to be at the Worthington party, then so am I. He can't scare me away. Hell yeah, girl. Let's get him. Oh, oh, what exactly is our plan, though? As soon as Reed told me he forbade you from coming, I knew you'd be here. Go off, girl. You know I love a good party. Ella, what are you doing here? I thought I told you... Shockingly, not... Reed, I'm actually an independent person who gets to make decisions for myself. You don't control me. I just don't want you getting hurt. What's your plan? Oh, let me guess. You're gonna go fight David Gladiator style in front of everybody and make a huge scene. Then your dad will find out and you'll be shipped off to military school, right? You have a better idea? I do, actually. Just lay low, act normal, and read no fighting. Fine. Whoa. Did Reed actually just listen to someone else? Ella, what have you done to my brother, and can I have some? Be quiet. I'm in charge tonight. I am loving this dominatrix thing you have going on. Your wish is my command. Is Savannah here? I saw her in the kitchen. But why are you still messing with her? It's not that. Savannah and I are good, actually. Just stay here and I'll be right back. Hey, Savannah. What are you doing? <coughs> Stress eating gourmet cheese, you? Did you see my DMs? Yes. <clears throat> You're insane. Do you actually think this could work? I've got nothing to lose, so it's worth a try. Can you get everything set up in the pool house without people noticing? That would usually be a pretty big ask with all my main character energy, but I've been so depressed I haven't gotten my acrylics filled in weeks, and my split ends are out of control, so yeah, I think I can swing it. Okay, we're gonna talk about mental health later. Let's do it. See you out there, girl.
The real reason why nobody misses a party at the Worthington House is because of their 50-foot infinity pool. Bam! Looking good, Al! Hi, David. Ella. I brought you a drink. I always have my own stash, remember? For cool girls only. <laughs> this is Valerie. Have you two met? I don't think so. We have. You've just never seen me in a bikini, so it's probably setting off your brain synapses a little differently. <laughs> Val, <laughs> I wanted to apologize to you, David. I feel like I might vomit. <sighs> Swallow your pride, Ella. It'll be worth it. Oh, really? I'm listening. I think the royals misunderstood things at the Y2K party. Those guys are douchebags. Totally. So, I was wondering if we could make it up to you. We? How? Come to the pool house with us. Both of us. <laughs> <laughs> I copied the voice and the giggle from Brooke, and David totally buys it. Lead the way. We'll keep the curtains drawn for some privacy, okay, David? If it's good for you, ladies, it's good for me. And Valerie can start you off with a massage. What? I can? Valerie, help David lie down and relax. Uh, on this chase thing. Okay, lie down, big guy. <laughs> Sorry. I don't mind it rough, babe. Oh, ooh, so strong. Should I take off my shirt? Yeah, I think that'll make you more comfortable. Mm, wow, David. You're built like a really strong investment banker. What? You're so hot, David. I just want you so bad. You definitely didn't like me this much last weekend. Yeah, what a crazy, weird night. I wasn't myself at all. I felt like I was on, hmm, drugs or something. That's weird. Like, maybe someone put something in her drink? Hold on, what are you implying? You can cut the sexy, flirty act. I don't like being lied to. And I don't like being roofied. You didn't even drink anything I gave you. Savannah knocked the drink out of your hand. So you did put something in her drink? <laughs> what does it matter? Nothing happened. It matters because that's fucking psycho shit, David! You should be in jail! You were fine! Don't put your feminist bullshit on me! You attacked me! I kissed you! That was a compliment! I was yelling for help because I thought you were going to hurt me! And then help arrived! Whoopee! The royals saved the fucking day! You're fucked up, David! You attacked Savannah and you attacked me! And I'm gonna make sure that it doesn't happen to anyone else! It's so funny that you and Savannah hate each other because you're exactly the same. Hot girls who flounce around in tiny outfits. And then when a guy actually makes a move, you get scared and change your mind. You want it, then you don't. You want it, then you don't. You wanted it, Ella. So don't pretend to be all outraged now. It's really unattractive. Hey Val, you think we got enough? Yep, that should do it. Enough what? Run! What the fuck? Go, 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 I can't believe we just did that. Oh, 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 uh, here, I, I, I have the code. Go, 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 go. Okay, it's locked. Are kidding me? No one will ever believe you, Ella. You're Did the live stream work? Oh, we saw everything. I set the projector up right next to the pool. Revenge is quite a vibe. I'm so sorry that happened. I can't believe it. It's so crazy. Are you okay? Move. Move. Ella, are you okay? Uh, kind of shaky from the adrenaline, but yeah. 
I'm great, actually. Yo, that was fucking killer. You all right, Saf? Yeah, <laughs> I'm good. Thanks. You, uh, need a ride home or anything? Or you want to grab some food? That actually sounds great. Okay, show's over. I'm ready to go home. That was really dangerous, Elle. I had to. I couldn't let him get away with it, Reed. I know. I was worried that no one would listen to me, but I knew that they would listen to him. Sorry you didn't get to kick his ass, though. <laughs> hey! Oh, shit. Hey! Get back. Oh, you've made the biggest mistake of your life, Ella Sinclair. Reed, don't! Ugh. Reed! Ella! Ella! Oh, Ella, get back! Fucking tuck that, huh? Stop it! Oh, Once you pick up someone, you're up. Stop! Fucking... That's enough! Shut up! Stop! Hey, please, dude! Reed! Reed. Reed. Stop! Reed! Reed. 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 Stop! Reed. Stop! 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 Please! Let's go! We gotta get out of here! Reed! Reed! Look at me! Stop! Stop. <laughs> done! Fuck! See if you can get David some help. I'm gonna check on Reed. Okay, I I'll try to find a first aid kit. <sighs> Reed's knuckles are bruised and bloody. His breathing is ragged. Ah! <sighs> Fuck! I'm, I'm sorry, Al. I'm sorry, but he came at you. I, I couldn't just... Look at me. Look, dude. I love you, but you gotta control yourself, man. He isn't worth it. Fuck. Ella, I gotta get Reed out of here. Can you can you ride back with Val? Yeah, yeah, I got her. We'll be right behind you. Just get him home without hitting anyone else, okay? As Easton leads Reed away, I can't get this out of control, angry side of Reed out of my head. And if he really doesn't want to be with me, why would he go off on David like that? What is going through his head? Looking at David's bloody face, I wonder if I really know Reed Royal at all. Maybe I need to break it off with him for good before more than just my heart gets hurt. On the next episode of The Royals of Malibu. So this is the first course out of eight? I don't want to brag, but it was really, really hard to get a reservation. Reed and Ella go on a first date, which seems insane. But now that things start to get, dare I say it, serious, will Reed get scared off? What if I end up at a college on the East Coast? I know you and Reed are kind of iffy right now, but it's not going to get any easier when you're apart. Or is Ella going to go back to her old ways and run off when things get hard? Okay, I don't know if you've noticed, but I am really not a fan of you telling me what to do. Honestly, after everything she's been through, who could blame her? I fucked up, Daddy. Mm-hmm, you did fuck up. This is your fault. You are the parent. Where the fuck were you? Once again, there's trouble in paradise, and it's about to tear these royals apart. Don't miss the next episode. The Royals of Malibu is a production of Diversion Audio in association with Pod People, based on the book Paper Princess by Aaron Watt. Directed by Matt Sav. Written by Kiana Cassie Blue. Produced by Amy Machado, Emma DeMuth, and Jacob Bronstein. Production management by Ashton Carter. Story editing by Lindsay Poussard. Story development by Emma DeMuth and Jacob Bronstein. Editorial direction by Scott Waxman. Casting by Lindsay Plussard, Alex McManus, and Mayank Fatter. Editing, sound design, and engineering by Morgan Foose and Michael Aquino. Dialogue editing by Adam Raimunda. Theme music by Eric Zeiler. Featuring the voices of Alyssa McKay as Ella, Zaria as Savannah, Chris Cafero as Reed, Nick Cafero as Easton, Armin Taylor as Callum, Francesca Agramonte as Valerie, Anna Rubinova as Brooke, Maura Vincent as Dinah, Stephanie Sherry as Lucy and Margaret Sinclair, and Kieran Reagan as David. 
Executive producers for Diversion Audio, Jacob Bronstein, Mark Francis, and Scott Waxman. Executive producers for Pod People, Rachel King and Matt Zapp. Special thanks to Kimberly Brower, Jen Frederick, and L. Kennedy. Version Audio.